And he says, well, hopefully you'll never need to see a bone doctor. <laughs> I guess broken bones. Oh, yeah, I didn't look. <laughs> <laughs> There's that big piece right there. You okay? Yeah. So tell me again what happened. You went, this has been bothering me for a long time, right? It actually started in the summertime. It was just for a little while, and I felt it coming on. And, I, and you know, I'm getting pedicures. So I was getting my nails done. I'm taking them off and all that. Yeah. yeah. Just I gotta go up. You know what I mean? But when I was getting the, the manicure done, there was a little cow was there in that, and she was instructing me to put these medicated pads on, and hopefully it would cure the problem. And while I was doing it, it was subsiding. But then, like I said, something came up, and it just totally negated it. Oh. So the biggest thing is, this is just dead skin caused by pressure. That's right. We remove the dead skin, Okay. and you remove the pressure from those shoes, and you'll be okay. Okay, I won't wear the shoes for at least about a week, and it'll just be at night time. I won't wear them during the day. Yes, and try to as little as possible. I was wearing them all day long, from yes. morning until night, yeah. I understand. I'll just go with these, yeah. and should I go out, I'll put them on. Okay, so what we're going to do, you just relax. We're just going to remove the top layer of this dead skin yeah, first. Yeah, that's fine. Right. If anything's too sore, you let me know. Uh, uh, I will let you know. Uh, so what? They told you to go to the the doc, uh, the hospital. Yeah, and I was assuming they were gonna do something there this morning, and uh, uh, yeah, I waited, and then the doctor came in and he just looked at it, and he says that, uh, well, no, we can't do nothing for that, and and then he said somebody's a bone specialist, then, and he says, well, hopefully you'll never need. To see a bone doctor, <laughs> I guess broken bones. Oh, yeah, I didn't look. <laughs> There's that big piece right there. You yeah, okay? Yeah, I wasn't looking. Yeah, I just, I'm one of those squeamish kind of guys, you know. No, you're doing well. How long did you have to wait in the hospital for? Uh, it was about uh, close to uh, two hours, I guess. Okay. Yeah, because I used to go hunting with my brother, and I wasn't big on shooting the game, you know what I mean? So. And he knows that about me, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. You know. Some people are squeamish about things, you know. No, no, that's fine. So we got the hard part off, and now right. we're just going to be removing that core of dead skin. Okay. But you must be looking good in those boots, though, huh? Looking good in the boots. <laughs> looking good. See, yeah. beauty is pain. That's what they say. Beauty is pain. That's a good one. Beauty is pain. I like that one. Beauty is pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So what we're doing is just removing as much as we can. So if anything's too sensitive, yeah, no. you let me know. Yeah, no, actually when I was grabbing it, I was trying to pull it and it was painful. But what you're doing, I'm not feeling nothing actually. That's good. And well, it's just dead skin. Yeah, I guess that's why you're the specialist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what those acid pads do... Oh, is they're they, no good? Or? They just soften the skin. Oh, is that what they do? But they don't remove it. You okay. need to have someone actually scrape this down. You okay, Sant? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I can do it. I know it's a little sensitive. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can deal with a little of it. Yeah. You know, I've been wearing those boots since high school too, eh, Doc? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> since high school. Just call me Jonathan. Just call okay, me Jonathan. Jonathan. So, you know, considering, you know, I've been wearing them since I was like 16 years old. That's only a few years ago, right? <laughs> You're looking good. For yeah, thanks for that. Yeah. yeah, it was those damn shoes when I got them. They were way too tight. I am not kidding you. Because I bought a pair of cowboy boots at, Ma do you go downtown at Young Street? Yep. And uh, the, it used to be Master John's back in the 60s, right? Because I'm 63, right? But it's called Shoe Master now, right? And I know the owner there, right? And it was right beside the... Uh, uh, the House of Lords, you know? Mm, yes, I know House of Lords, yeah. The House of Lords shut down, I heard. Oh, eh? okay. That was a landmark, eh? Yeah. You know, for people that wanted to get their hair done, you got to go to the big T.O. and you go to the House of Lords and, you know, pay the big big, big money there, right? Eh? But uh, <clears throat> when I went to go see uh, Nick at Shoemaster, he didn't have the Beetle boots, but I ended up buying a pair of cowboy boots, and there was a lot of room in them, you know what I mean? My foot, my foot wasn't all scrunched up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, those ones were comfortable, but these Beetle boots when he made them, and I paid like uh, 550 bucks for them too. Whew. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I was just scrunching my toes the whole time. I should have went back, but anyways. Hey, considering for all the years I've been wearing those boots, I only got one toe that's messed up, eh? That's not too bad, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Are you able to handle this okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's really good. That's really, really good. So, like I told you, this is going to fill up with normal skin. Okay. But if you don't remove the pressure, this thing will come right back. It, it, it comes right back, eh? Just a reaction to pressure. Seriously, eh? Yep. Wow. Yep. Okay. Sometimes the body's too smart. Oh, yeah, really, eh? Yeah, it's trying to protect itself. Oh, it's got these safeguards. That's though. right. Right? Yeah. I was watching something on TV the other day about honey. Did you hear about this honey? What? Like taking honey for you. Yes. Because of uh, all the uh, antibiotics they're over prescribing and it's breaking down our immune system. They said with the honey in the system, you don't have to take as much. You, did you hear about no, this? No. Wow. Really? That's Apparently okay. honey is good for you. I've been taking uh, uh, two tablespoons a day of pure honey, one in the morning and one at night. Well, I know that sometimes we use it in wound care. In which? Wound care. Wounds, you know, like sores. Oh, yeah, that's you know, like big open cuts, right? That right. Sometimes instead of using you know, medicine, they've been using medical grade honey. Oh, yeah, so medical the, grade honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Oh, that's wild. It's still sensitive here. Uh, Is that a little sore? No. Okay, you're doing well. Yeah, no, that's okay. Little by little. Okay. I'll let you know when I hit the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a good kick. Well, no, no, no. You <laughs> obviously know what you're doing, right? I mean, you're filming this one, so I, I got to feel good about that. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. How long did your dad do this for? 30 years. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah, and then he's retired now. Oh, good for him. Yeah, good for him. You got a nice little view here too, right? Yeah, I know. It's, it, you get to see the street. Uh, yeah. Things oh, keep moving. Oh, that's the red brick building over there. That one at 5 and 10? No. That's this is Queensway. Yeah, so that, 5 and 10 is that way. Yeah, no, that's supposed to be a crack building that way. <laughs> Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, apparently. Yeah. Somebody was saying that anyway. I've been out of Mississauga for eight years, but I just came back and my brother just lives up here at Mavis and Paisley. Yep. Yeah, this place, Mississauga, is really... Uh, it's changed a lot. Oh, boy, did it ever. My dad, when he came out here in 1969, there was no square one up there, right? It was all fields, right? Yeah. Yeah, back in the days. Do you mind me asking how old you are, Jonathan? Oh, uh, I just turned 30. Oh, you're a youngin, eh? <laughs> I was going to say you look kind of young when I saw you, eh? Just 30. But you were sitting there when you were a little kid watching your dad, eh? Yes. My whole life. Cool. That is so cool. See, I'm staying with my brother and he's got two boys, eh? But I was, you know, telling my brother I used to idolize him as a kid growing up, eh? Because he's 10 years older than me, Jonathan. Yeah. Oh, wow. And he was a mechanic, eh? And I wanted to learn to do stuff, eh? And I was, like, working on engines when I was 11 years old. Wow. And then he took an, uh, an electrician course, so I do electrical as well. He taught me how to do plumbing all that stuff. And then I said to him about his kids, because one of them went to university, and he took uh, some kind of a business degree. Yeah. Where he's, um, he, could, he should be doing stock trading and all that, but my brother's telling me he's afraid to take that risk. Yep. But he said he's really, really good at this course he took, right? And I said, does he know anything about engines, Tony? And he says, I tried it. They <laughs> open up the hood. They don't even know where to put the windshield washer fluid. <laughs> That's us now. Remember back in the day, everyone worked on their cars. Huh? People used to work on no, their cars, but that. now we don't. No. That's what my brother, the kids nowadays, they're all, they're not tuned into stuff like that, eh? But, no. You know, I was eager to learn though growing up, eh? It's a different era we live in, eh, John? It is. These kids with all these iPhones and all this stuff, they're just, everybody's self-absorbed in this stuff, right? I agree. So, what's happened, Santo? Yeah. <clears throat> I've taken as much as I can. Okay. Underneath. I felt nothing. That's good. I'm not kidding. There, there's a lot of raw tissue. Okay. The tissue would look like it was about to break down oh, and create really? a wound. Oh, and which is no a good. wound? Yes. Because there was so much pressure. Oh, yeah, I'm not kidding you. Stupid me. No, no, it happens. This middle of the of the corn is still very tender, okay. and I know if I try to dig it out, it's going to bleed. 
Okay. So the best thing we do is we leave it as is. It's going to feel much better. All right. We come back That's in around a, two months okay. and we do the same thing. No but problem. because if you change the shoes, yeah. there won't be this big buildup and the skin underneath can harden, become okay. firmer, and then I can remove it. Okay. Okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So let me put you down. Oh my God. Oh. Jesus. How's that? Oh, it looks like I had six toes. <laughs> My brother was going, don't worry, I'm going to go get the axe and a chopping block. Just come in the kitchen. Okay. He's I'll... a funny brother. <laughs> I, I really good. love him. That's he, good you have a nice good brother. brother eh? I'm not kidding you. You know what? He went one direction, I went the other direction. Eh? You know what I'm talking about? Hey, you know, with wrong people and all that stuff. Eh? So, but you know what? Well, look, you're still with your brother now. And, and I've been doing a lot of church duty, so I found my way back. I'm happy Fam for you. Family's everything. I'm Jonathan. happy for you. Yeah. So once you put on your, your sock and shoe, let's see how the whole feels. Was this shoe bothering you? No, not these ones. With, before you came in, was it bothering you? Uh, oh, yeah. With the uh, Yeah, even that. Yeah, I couldn't put on my running shoes. I won't even try to put on my beagle boots, not until next week. Okay, so let's put on the shoes. I'm still oh. feeling... Oh, yeah. How's that feel? Oh, that feels good. So... I can live with that. You have no idea what that feels no, You probably do have an idea. <laughs> But what's gonna happen? I can take even more out once we let this area calm down. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, so, how's that feel? That's heaven. I'm in heaven. That feels good. I'm in heaven, buddy. I'm not kidding you, huh? That feels great. I'm Thank happy. you. You're welcome.